Mega projects are generally deemed to be far-reaching endeavors in energy, transport, agriculture, or construction that will influence hundreds of thousands, even millions of lives, defined by a budget of more than $1 billion, but often running to far higher costs. The North African country Algeria is classified as an upper-middle-income country by the World Bank. Its gross national income per capita for 2019 was $4,010, and its gross domestic product was $172 billion in 2020. Industry contributes 61% of the country's GDP. Services contribute 30%, and agriculture contributes 9%. Provided its vast territorial expanse and the needs of its large and growing population of approximately 43 million people, Algeria requires significant ongoing investments in its civil infrastructure. In today's video, we will highlight the 10 most impressive mega projects currently underway or recently completed in Algeria. Welcome to Thinkrich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development, so if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. Nine. Mostaganem Tramway Light Rail Project A test run for Algeria's Mostaganem Tramway Light Rail Project is currently underway. The 14.5 km Mostaganem Tramway Project consists of two lines with 24 stations toddling 14 km of track. The North-South T1 line will connect Salamander Place in the north to the University of Caraba in the south, serving 19 stations, while the East-West T2 line will connect the city's main line station in the east, where it will interchange with the T1 to Avenue Abain Ramdane bus station, serving five stations. Work on the 14.5 km network began in August 2013 and was initially carried out in Spain by a consortium of Alstom and Ice Lux under a $290 billion contract awarded by the Algiers Metro Company, EMA, which is managing the project. Construction was originally scheduled to be completed by May 2015, but was delayed due to flooding, subsidence, and a severe financial crisis. Work was later resumed through a consortium of Alstom and the calcited group Algeria, with regular operations now expected to begin later this year. The network will be run by a fleet of 25 Satanis 402 LRV, which are 43.9 meters long. They will be made by Siddle, a joint venture of Alstom, Ima, and Ferrovial, Spain, at its plant in Annaba. Alstom also made the tracks, catenary, telecommunications and signaling, substations and tickets for the network. Number 8. Ainsila Gas Field Development Petrofac has been awarded a contract with the Montessori Group worth approximately $1 billion. The joint operating group established by Sonatrac, Petrostic, and Enel for the Ain Sila development project in Algeria, located approximately 1,100 kilometers southeast of the Ain Sila field, will produce gas, LPG, and condensate for the local Algerian market before exporting it. The lump sum engineering procurement and construction projects scope of work includes commissioning, startup, and performance testing under the terms of the 42-month contract. The construction work began in 2019 and is scheduled to be completed in 2022. The Ain Sila field was discovered in 2009 by a single well and was the world's ninth largest discovery at the time. Petro Celtic drills six Delanetian wells in the field to collect data for the field's integrated reservoir model and to prepare the field development plan. It is estimated that the Sun Sela field contains 2.1 trillion cubic feet of sales gas. Condensate in the amount of 67 million barrels and liquefied petroleum gas in the amount of 108 million barrels. Number 7. Setamascara Expressway 
in order to improve regional connectivity and reduce traffic congestion. Algeria's Ministry of Public Works is building a 101-kilometer-long new dual-line expressway between Seta and Mescara. Construction of five interchanges, 18 engineering structures, six viaducts, 25 hydraulic structures, dividers, exchangers, tunnels, and other related facilities is also part of the project. The project entails the construction of a 101-kilometer-long four-lane expressway connecting the cities of Mescara and Seta. The project is being built in stages. The first phase of the project, measuring 43 kilometers in length, is being built between the East-West Highway and Tizi near Mescara. The project's second phase will be developed between Tizi near Mescara and Seta. The first phase of the project is further subdivided into two sections, the Hassin East-West Highway section, 25 kilometers, and the Hassin Tizi section, 25 kilometers, 18 kilometers. The EPC contract for the East-West Highway Hassin section was awarded to Serer Societe Nationale de Travox Publics, SNTP, SNC Mazoe at Fils, and Shandong Lucao Group Co. Limited in the third quarter of 2014, and the EPC contract for the Hassin Tizi section, 18 kilometers, was awarded to Egder Benzamia Mamer, Irigout, Serer, Leventina Ingenieri, CHM. Construction activities for the first phase of the project began in May 2015. Construction work is currently underway. Number 6. Out Tilalat slash Tilemsum High Speed Rail Project. The Out Tilalat Tilemsum High Speed Railway Line is part of a larger development plan for the Trans Maghreb Railway Corridor, which includes railway lines in Algeria, Morocco, Tunisia, Mauritania, Libya, and Egypt. The project involves a 132-kilometer stretch of track that is part of the railway link between the maritime city of Oran and the Moroccan border with a mix of passenger and freight traffic. The construction of 56 viaducts along the line is divided into three categories, common, special, and exceptional. All of the viaduct structures will be made of a steel-slash-concrete mixture. The superstructure of the track necessitates the installation of UIC-60 type rails on twin-block reinforced concrete sleepers with nablatite fastening, above layers of ballast, sub-ballast, and a protective compacted sand-slash-gravel mix level known as supercompact. The project also addressed architectural and functional aspects related to the construction-slash-renovation of four stations, Outilalat, renovation, city bell abs, new construction, city lawson, new staging area, and Tlemcen, renovation slash overall revisiting of functions and construction of the new high-speed terminal. Number 5. Gara Jebelit Iron Ore Project Gara Jebelit, Tinduf Province, in western Algeria, is one of the world's most important iron ore deposits. It was discovered in 1952 and has an estimated reserve of over 2 billion tons of mineral wealth, iron grading over 50%. For all, Algeria's National Iron and Steel Company has reached an agreement with the Chinese company Sinisteel Equipment and Engineering Co. Limited to conduct pre-feasibility and feasibility studies on the development of the Gara Jebelit Iron Ore Deposit. According to preliminary estimates, the project could cost more than $2 billion. The project includes the design of the processing plants, as well as all necessary infrastructure for the transportation of materials and products, as well as the supply of water and energy, all while taking into account the mine's remote location. The recovery of this iron ore is both strategic and challenging, and it should be noted that by establishing a production platform of international proportions, Algeria will position itself as a leader on a continental scale. One of the most difficult technical challenges of this project is lowering the phosphorus content of the iron mineral from 0.8% to 0.1%. The site's location and remoteness away from all modes of transportation is also an important issue for profitability, which a new railway line will attempt to overcome. Following difficulties in attracting foreign investors, the project in Tinduf province will aid Algeria's efforts to diversify away from oil. Number 4. Galsi Pipeline Project The Galsi Pipeline, 
alternatively referred to as the Gastato Algeria Sardegna Italia Galsi, is a proposed gas pipeline that would connect Algeria and Italy. The pipeline would originate in Kudi Drailoch, Algeria, near the Annaba Gulf, and connect to the Algeria Sardinia undersea section. The pipeline would begin in Sardinia at Portobot and then head north to Albia. The pipeline would connect to the undersea Sardinia Tuscany section at Albia. The pipeline would terminate in Italy's Piombino, where the gas would be delivered to the country's national gas distribution system. Sonatrac, along with Edison, Enel, and the Hera Group, is also a partner in this project, which will see the construction of a gas pipeline connecting Algeria to Italy via South India. The 837-kilometer-long pipeline will be nearly 565 kilometers offshore and 272 kilometers on land. With Sonatrac as the largest shareholder, the pipeline will have an annual capacity of 8 billion cubic meters. Algeria's vast gas reserves will be supplied to northern Italy and Europe via the Ain Sila field through this project. Number 3. Port of Al Hamdania. Algeria's government intends to develop a deep water port in Al Hamdania, 80 kilometers west of Algiers, to alleviate congestion and facilitate international trade. The port is intended to compete with Morocco's Tangier Medport as a regional hub for North Africa and the Mediterranean. It will have a 25 million ton annual capacity and 23 terminals capable of handling up to 6.5 million 20-foot containers. In January 2016, a memorandum of understanding was signed for the project and initiative of former President Abdel Aziz Pataskala Kat. The agreement committed the China State Construction Engineering Company, the China Harbor Engineering Company, and the Algerian Port Authority to the project in exchange for China financing the agreement and outsourcing import operations for the first 25 years. Algerian media reported in 2019 that the then under construction deepwater port of Al Hamdania had been suspended. Although the government is eager to restart construction due to the port's strategic importance, when completed, the portable Hamdania in Churchill will be the country's largest and first deepwater port, as well as Africa's second deepwater port. Number 2. Tafauk 1 Solar Project. Algeria's government intends to begin construction of Tafok 1, a mega solar project, within the next few years. As confirmed in 2020, it will enable the construction of several photovoltaic solar power plants with a combined capacity of 4,000 megawatts. The project is expected to be completed in 2024, and it is expected to cost up to $3.6 billion. This project will generate 56,000 jobs during the construction phase and 2,000 jobs during the operation phase. Algeria aims to generate 22 gigatons of green energy by the end of the decade, with 13.6 gigatons dedicated to photovoltaic solar energy. The transition to green energy is deemed necessary due to the fact that oil and gas have become the economic lifeblood of both countries. Number 1. Tebasa Phosphate Plant Project Algeria's truck project is a $6 billion joint venture with China to develop a phosphate plant in the country. The Algerian-Chinese partnership will see the phosphate plant developed in Basset, eastern Algeria. The plant is expected to begin operations by the end of 2022, creating over 3,000 jobs. The project proposes to increase the annual output of the phosphate mine in Tevis's eastern region from 1 million to 10 million tons. Algeria, which has the world's third largest phosphate reserves, plans to increase its phosphate production from 2 million tons per year to 30 million tons per year by 2030, establishing it as a major exporter of phosphate-based fertilizers. Thank you for watching. If there are any tips you think should be on this list but is not, leave a comment, let us know. Help our channel grow. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Support us by liking the video, subscribing, and turning on your notifications.